2015, Samsung introduced the Galaxy A8. A year later, it released its successor called the Galaxy A8 2016. The company, however, skipped 2017 and decided to release the 2018 model instead. What's up guys, this is Kim from Yugitech and to greet the new year, here's a review of the Samsung Galaxy A8 2018 and its beefier sibling, the Galaxy A8 Plus 2018. Before we head to our review, we would like to note that both devices are almost identical with each other, except for the fact that the Galaxy A8 Plus has a larger display, more storage and RAM capacity, and bigger battery. Alright, let's move on. The Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus 2018 took cues from the design of its flagship cousins such as the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy Note 8, meaning they both sport an 18x9 display with a slim top and bottom bezels. Both have curved corners and rounded sides but thicker and not as sleek as the Galaxy S8. Above the screen you will find the earpiece, sensor and two cameras consisting of a 16 megapixel main and 8 megapixel wide angle. Placed on the left are the volume keys and the Nano SIM 1 card slot. On the right are the power lock button and loudspeaker, which is pretty uncommon, but not a hindrance when we're listening to music. Quality is good for a smartphone as both devices produce loud and rich sound with a hint of bass. At the top, we have the microphone and another tray for the Nano SIM 2 card and micro SD card slot, which is great for those who are not fond of hybrid card trays. Down at the bottom are the USB-C port, microphone, and 3.5mm audio port. There is a 16 megapixel main camera on their back with a LED flash beside it. Below it is the horizontally positioned fingerprint scanner. It feels weird at first since we're used to the vertical scanner on the Galaxy S8, but so far it can scan our fingerprints well and its lower placement makes it easier to reach. In the hands, the Galaxy A8 feels thicker and heavier than the Galaxy S8, and the A8 Plus obviously is heavier than its sibling. Both phones are also smudge magnets, but still feels premium thanks to the glass front and back, which curve towards the edges and meets the metal frame in the middle for a seamless feel. In addition, it is IP68 certified, meaning it can be submerged under 1.5 meter of water for 30 minutes. Both devices are dominated with the same Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display in resolution of 1080 by 2220 with the A8 having a screen size of 5.6 inch with 441 ppi while the A8 Plus bigger at 6 inch with 411 ppi. Samsung calls this the Infinity Display but doesn't have the curved edges like Galaxy S8 or Galaxy Note 8. This leaves an impression that the device has thicker side bezels. The resolution is also fixed, unlike the Galaxy S8 that can go lower to HD+, 720x1480. Compared to the Galaxy A8, the A8 Plus is more enjoyable to use for gaming and watching videos. Quality-wise, both phones produce vibrant, sharp, with punchy colors and wide viewing angles. Users can choose between four different screen modes to suit their usage. Adaptive Display, AMOLED Cinema, AMOLED Photo, and Basic as well as adjust color balance. One of the main features of the Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus are their cameras, which consist of 16 megapixel face detection autofocus with f1.7 rear and 16 megapixel FF, f1.9 plus 8 megapixel f1.9 front. These makes the Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus Samsung's first smartphones to sport dual front cameras. Both phones feature Bixby Vision, which can identify object or location as well as extract or translate text. Images produced by the rear camera is quite good, with plenty of details and accurate colors. The face detect autofocus is more than adequate for different shooting scenarios, while the f1.7 wide aperture helps gather more light in dim environments. Sadly, there is no optical stabilization, but it's not really a huge disadvantage. As for the front cameras, the 16 megapixel FF f1.9 standard angle plus 8 megapixel f1.9 wide angle configuration makes these devices a versatile selfie shooter. If you want an ordinary selfie, you can use the main 16 megapixel camera. But if you want to have a selfie with a group, you can simply switch to the 8 megapixel wide angle. The dual front cameras also feature the live focus, which adds blur to the subject's background and lets you readjust the focus after taking the shot. Not only that, it also has beauty effect if you want to look better in your selfies. 
and screen flash for selfies and the dark. For a fixed focus camera, images produced are sharp with vibrant colors and nicely implemented beauty and live focus effects. It can get smudgy though in dim environments. When it comes to video recording, both phones max out at 1080 pixels at 30 frames per second with video stabilization. Quality is okay but autofocus is jittery. Running the software department is Android 7.1.1 with Samsung Experience 8.5. If you have handled the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus before, the experience and layout are pretty much similar. Icons are the same but with new wallpapers. There is Smart Stay which keeps the screen on while you're looking at it. One-handed mode, finger sensor gestures, quick launch camera, multi-window, and device maintenance. The dual messenger feature found in the Galaxy Note 8 makes its way here as well, allowing you to use two separate accounts for the same app. Bixby is present as well, which can be accessed by swiping from the left of the home screen. It basically shows you a summary of your day, weather, and news. Bixby vision for the camera and Bixby reminder. When it comes to apps, you get the usual pre-installed Google apps as well as Microsoft's productivity suite like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneDrive. The rest are Samsung's native apps like Samsung Health, S-Voice, Galaxy Apps, Samsung Members, and the likes. Storage-wise, the A8 is left with 24.38GB of usable space out of the 32GB. The A8 Plus, on the other hand, has 53.27GB of usable space out of the 64GB. The Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus are both powered by an Exynos 7885 octa-core chipset consisting of 2.2GHz dual-core and 1.6GHz hexa-core processors and Mali G71 GPU. However, their difference lies with the former having a 4GB RAM while the latter packs more RAM at 6GB. The increased RAM seems to have an effect in benchmarks as the A8 Plus scored better in Antutu compared to the Galaxy A8. Despite their difference, both phones performed good as we never experienced any hang-ups, lags, crashes, and overheating. We played Asphalt 8, Mobile Legends, Arena of Valor, and Vainglory in the highest settings, and the devices were able to keep up. Warming can be felt at the center back but not too much to be a cause for concern. Users won't have to worry about connectivity as the Galaxy A8 has everything covered from dual SIM, 4G LTE, CAT 11, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, ANT+, NFC, USB-C with OTG function, and GPS. Mobile data is fast as long as the LTE signal is good. GPS works great in Google Maps, Waze, Grab, and Uber. Call quality is good thanks to noise cancelling. The Galaxy A8 is equipped with a 3000 mAh battery which is an average capacity of today's standard. This may seem small for some but we actually got good mileage lasting us for a whole day and night with a little left in the morning. The A8 Plus on the other hand is equipped with a 3500 mAh battery, the same capacity as the Galaxy S8 Plus which is a good move considering the large display. As for their PC Mark battery test, the A8 got an impressive 12 hours, performing better than the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy Note 8 at 9 hours and 30 minutes, while the A8 Plus also got an impressive 13 hours and 17 minutes, better than the 10 hours and 23 minutes in the Galaxy S8 Plus. For our video loop test, which involves playing a 1080 pixel clip on loop in airplane mode at 50% brightness and volume with headset plugged in, the A8 yielded 18 hours and 30 minutes of playback and the A8 Plus at 20 hours and 15 minutes of playback. We're glad to know that fast charging is supported and we were able to replenish its battery in over 2 hours. With the Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus, Samsung has successfully brought the design and features normally found in their premium offerings to the upper mid-range category. If we're going to place it somewhere, it's between mid-range and flagship. Both have a nice infinity display, good performance in cameras, water and dust resistant body, and long battery life. At 26,990 pesos for the A8 and 32,990 for the A8 Plus, both phones are more expensive than most mid-range devices. But if you can afford their asking price, you won't be disappointed. And that's about it. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Again, this is Kim from Yugatech, and I hope to see you in the next video.